The private stock is a 90 proof, eight to 10 year old rum. And it is, um, um, did I say 90 proof? I think I did say 90 yeah, proof. 90 but it proof. sells for about 80 bucks a bottle. The unfortunate thing is right now, the only place you can buy this rum is here at the distillery. Um, we do have other, uh, we are selling rum in Georgia, uh, this rum in Georgia a little mm -hmm. bit. But by and large, this rum is only available. That's right not here. hanging out in the liquor store. Not, not yet, not yet. The first thing <laughs> I noticed, Phil, about that particular rum, I've never seen rum that color before. That, that looks like brandy. That is those small little 15 gallon barrels working your magic. Yeah, so you're controlling the color and the flavor. Yeah, That's yeah. Well, let's have a little taste of our premium rum. We might as well start with our best and put your best foot forward. Just, now, when you're tasting spirits, little bitty sip in the front part of your mouth. I know I'm not telling you anything, but I see so many people that don't do it right. But when you're tasting spirits, trap a little bit in the front part of your mouth and then let it slowly develop towards the back of your mouth. And I think, you know, some of your viewers might appreciate a little lesson in how to taste spirits. Even the, some of the hottest spirits, if you will, will remember that, trap a little bit in the front part of your mouth and then let it kind of develop towards the back of your mouth. You'll find that it's a very, uh, it takes a lot of the bite out of it when you do it that way. It has a lot of levels. Yes. Very wow, complex. Is that good? Very complex. That is a fantastic mm -hmm. beverage. Wow. So that's what rum is really supposed to taste like. That's, that's the way rum tasted 250 years ago. <laughs> they were very fortunate. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, that is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely yeah. fantastic. This is our mainstay uh, rum. This is aged in the new charred oak barrels. And um, what else can I say about it? It's, it's just, you know. Beautiful perfume. Again, very much at home with a brandy sniffer. Wow, so smooth. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I love this. <laughs> As they say, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. Yep. Fantastic. Really, and you're, you know, again, it, it's more, to my taste, it is more like a brandy or yeah. a, a really, really fine whiskey. There was a, um, a very nice restaurant in your area, uh, over in the Knoxville area, that was making a bread pudding and they were making it with a certain whiskey. And when they tasted that rum, they immediately started serving that, um, with, that with that rum and making that bread pudding. And they rolled out, it was kind of cute. I, I don't know if you want to tell this story on the TV or not, but uh, it was kind of cute. They rolled out this cart with some very expensive brandies and cognacs and armagnacs and what have you. And they advised their customers that your bread pudding was made with Pritchard's fine rum and we recommend it in a brandy sniffer as an accompaniment to your dessert. Sold the heck out of that. Of course, the album there was, it was the lower priced on the, on the cart compared sure. to some of the expenses. Oh, yes. And, but people would enjoy it. And oh, yeah. it really did kind of take its place among yeah, the brandies and cognac. it's definitely a, yep. a, a sipping with a good cigar kind yes, of a beverage. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Absolutely. So. Terrific. Yeah, so. Okay, now let's show me the crystal. Let's do the crystal now. This one. Um, I really wish that it were, um, we, sh we should really serve this with a couple of ice cubes because it really makes the flavors pop a little bit better. But um, you'll find wow. this has a wonderful, wonderful aroma. This was reviewed in a major That's what it smells magazine. Like. It smells and like they, rum yep. and butter candy. Yep. That's what it smells like. Yep. It, it, it's leading you to believe it's going to be sweet, but it's, it's, it's powder dry. Wow. See, you're exactly right. Yeah. The nose is absolutely gorgeous, yep. and the taste is a different kind of gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Completely different. Yeah. Very flavorful. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful drink. Yes, sir. Appreciate yeah, it. And I'd like that one cold, too. Yeah. That is just yep. beautiful. Yep. That is just beautiful. Yeah. Go ahead, Matt. You can have a taste. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everybody understands the word single barrel. It means the bourbon came out of one barrel. But we have coined and trademarked a new term, and that is double barreled. Yeah, I've never and, seen it before. And I have to kind of explain that because almost without exception, whiskey, bourbon, 
cannot be put in the barrel above 125 proof, one of the criteria that people don't know about. If it says on that bottle that it's 80 proof or 90 proof, the question has to be asked is, how did your whiskey get from that barrel proof of 125 down to that bottle proof? The answer, of course, is your whiskey has been watered down sure. before you ever screw off the cork. Water has no flavor, water dilutes flavor. And I often use the analogy, you've dished yourself out a bowl of chicken soup and you found out it was too hot, so you drop an ice cube or two in it. You succeed in cooling it now down, but now it, it taste tastes like right. chicken soup dilute. Sounds well, good. water does the same thing to bourbon. Water has no flavor, water dilutes flavor, and water dilutes the flavor of bourbon big time. What we do is we take the bourbon from 125 proof, we cut it to its ultimate bottle proof, 90, and we age it. And at that point, we are in fact reinforcing those flavors that bourbon is so famous for. Kind of like putting your chicken soup back in the stock pot. Absolutely. So Benjamin Pritchard's Double Barrel Bourbon. This is one of our mainstays in our business. And uh, we, we ran out of bottles, and unfortunately we haven't been able to bring it back. But um, we will be bringing it back on the market very soon. Yeah, yeah that'll so, be great, yeah. and I'll be looking for it. Yeah. It's terrific. Right. So yeah, that, let me get some shots of you holding that. All right. While you're talking, I'm looking at it a little bit. All right. Yeah. That's our Key Lime Rum won awards this year, best of class. And so the Key Lime is really, really nice. So we put about a cup of ice into the blender, put about two ounces of the Key Lime into the blender. We put about a teaspoon of fresh lime juice into the blender and two great big tablespoon sized dollops of sweetened condensed milk into okay. the blender. Mm -hmm. And we turn that blender on and while that blender's running, you take your glass, you dip it in lime juice like you're gonna rim it with salt, but don't rim it with salt. Rim it with graham cracker crumbs. You've got key lime pie <laughs> in, in a glass. glass. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, a enjoy, you'll love that one. That's a great idea. Well, one sniff of this, and you know, you're hearing steel drums in the background. <laughs> wow. Well, that tastes like vacation. Yes, sir. That's what that tastes like. Sitting underneath wow. the palm tree, just oh, yeah, enjoying yeah. The, the sun going down That's over right. the bay. The ocean yeah. lapping against the sand. <laughs> yep. Beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Every competition that we've entered in, the judges have all remarked about how natural the flavor is and that's because we actually use macerated key limes key lime. to help make uh, in our processing of that Beautiful. and then we have uh, another product here that is called sweet lucy now i have to kind of use both hands to tell you sweet lucy but mm -hmm. first i'm going to tell you that one of the driving forces behind sweet lucy is we make a major contribution uh, for every bottle of sweet lucy that we sell to ducks unlimited and you see it is a fully licensed product of Ducks Unlimited. We are full partners with them. And uh, we make a contribution to their efforts to preserve wetlands. Well, I have to tell you what Sweet Lucy is. You ready for this? I'm ready. You're a duck hunter. You're in the duck blind. It's freezing cold outside and the ducks fly over. You hit, boom, boom, you shoot the ducks down. You, while you're waiting for the dogs to come back, you get your little flask out and you get your little bitty sip and you say, mm, Sweet Lucy. <laughs> So Sweet Lucy is not my wife, it's not my dog or my girlfriend. So that's Sweet Lucy is an exclamation of joy. <laughs> All right, really looking forward to this one. This has the touch of orange, touch of apricot. This is the bourbon liqueur. Oh, does it smell good. Boy, I could cook a lot of good things with this. I'll oh, tell you. This, that, with that's roast a, duck, chef's, let me tell you. chef's dream. I really want you to know. So let's yeah. try it. Yeah. Sweet Lucy. <laughs> You're a good man. I see where you got it. Oh, is that good? Oh, is that now, good? Now, turn the camera it's off good. and I'll make you take the pledge. <laughs> you got a deal. You, you ready? Raise your right hand. I'm ready. I swear. I swear. I will.